Chapter 291 Wang Dongga's fifth soul skill, Xu Tianran said, I'm even more fascinated and interested in this battle after listening to your analysis. Let's just wait and see. The judge had entered the arena by now. He announced the rules of the round-robin stage before he had a final announcement. Group 1, the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy versus the Tang Sept. Participants, please enter the waiting area. Will the first contestants of the single elimination phase please step on stage? Both teams stood up at almost the same time, with the exception of Huo Yuao. Their gazes met, and sparks seemed to fly in that instant. Huo Yuao's eyes were still closed, as if he were actually sleeping. Wang Qiu's eyes were ice cold, but her eyes were locked on Huo Yuao from the beginning to the end. She frowned involuntarily when she noticed that he hadn't opened his eyes at all. The Tang Sept had forfeited the last round, and she was incredibly displeased with their decision. Will they give this round up as well? No matter what happens, I will lead Shrek Academy into the next round. We have to defeat the Sun Moon Empire's team, and we will also have to defeat the Tang Sept. What should I do if they abandon this round once more? Thoughts were still spinning around in Wang Qiu's head while the contestants entered the waiting area. Nan Qiu Kai whispered to Jing Zian beside her over at the Tang Sept's camp. Do you think we can win this round? That's the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy. They came in second place in the previous round, and I've heard that they've been second place for two seasons in a row. They have never lost to anyone else besides the Shrek Academy team. Jing Zian answered mysteriously. Does that mean you favor our opponents in this round? Nan Qiu Kai said, Of course. We forfeited the last round, but why aren't we forfeiting this one? It's better for us if we can save our strength and our energy to fight the other teams. This is the first round, and if we end up losing this round and we all end up wounded and exhausted, doesn't that mean we're going home? Jing Zian felt a little speechless. Does that mean you believe we have the ability to defeat the Shrek Academy team? If we forfeit this round and we lose against Shrek Academy, how do we progress to the next round? Only two teams from each group can progress into the quarterfinals. Nan Kyu Kai widened her eyes. What? You think the Tang Sect, a sect without any reputation at all, can progress into the quarterfinals? Are you sure about what you just said? Unless every single one of them is as powerful as you are, how can they progress into the quarterfinals? It's just not possible. Their most optimal choice should be to try their best to win a few rounds in the group stage, so that they can have a good ranking at the end. Jing Zian chuckled and said, I wouldn't be so sure about that. How about, let's have a bet? Nan Kyu Kai had always been rather stubborn and defiant. What are we betting on? How's that going to work? Jing Zian replied, We can bet on who emerges victorious in this round. You favor the Sun Moon Empire's team, right? I am betting that the Tang Sect will win this round. If you win, I will take you Radiant City's most lavish and luxurious hotel for a delicious meal. But if you lose, you have to fight against me one versus one over ten different occasions, and split over ten different days. Your annihilation element is quite interesting. The corner of Nan Kyu mouth twitched. And it was evident that she was reminiscing about a certain unpleasant memory. She deliberated for a little while, and she nodded vigorously as she said, All right, it's a done deal. Then, you can't cheat. Oh, I feel like I can already see a sumptuous meal in front of me. Jing Zian said arrogantly, I will make this bet with you, in the name of the Tang Sex glory. If I lose, so be it, and all I have to do is spend some money to take you out for a meal. It's a deal, neither of us can cheat. Ji Duigan was sitting on Jing Zian's other side, and his mouth twitched, but his eyes were as calm as always. His gaze was fixated on Huo Yuao. This epic battle will surely inspire me in some way. It's your show, Yuao. But how much of your true abilities can you unleash with the state that your body is in? Both teams were inside the waiting area at this point. Xiao Hing Chen gestured to one of the Sun Moon Empire's team members, and the youth immediately leapt to his feet and jumped onto the competition stage. He was big and tall, and his shoulders were extremely broad. His eyes were cool and collected, and he seemed very calm to the people watching him. He could be considered very dignified and rather dashing, with especially white hands, with long and slender fingers. The audience could tell that he was quite formidable as soon as he got onto the competition stage. Wang Donga patted Huo Yuao's right hand gently over in the Tang Sex camp, and she stood up from her seat. Huo Yuao finally opened his eyes as she stood up. His eyes were cold, and could even be described as grim and unfeeling. Huo Yuao gave a faint nod back to Wang Donga, but he didn't say anything else. Wang Donga tapped on the ground with her foot and drifted onto the competition stage. The protective soul barrier. Protective soul barriers rose from the ground the moment she stepped onto the stage and separated the contestants from the outside world. It's Wang Dong. Meng Hingchen was seated inside the waiting area, and she felt as if a bucket of ice cold water had just splashed over her fighting spirit and extinguished half of it. A strange smile broke out across Xiao Hingchen's face. Looks like the heavens are on our side, and it was the right decision not to let you take point. If you accidentally lost to him, we would have had real problems in the subsequent rounds. Meng Hingchen bit down on her lower lip and mumbled under her breath. If only I had known Wang Dong was the first one, then I would have told Xizing to have some mercy and not land any killing blows. It's too late now. What should I do? Xiao Hing Chen was clearly exasperated, but he didn't seem surprised by her reaction at all. Whose side are you on? The question we should be thinking about is whether we can win this round. They were quarreling on their side, while Wang Donga and the youth from the Sun Moon Empire's team walked to the center of the stage. The judge glanced at them both as he lowered his voice and said, This is the first fight of the round robin stage. Be careful, you two, and try your best not to wound or cripple your opponent. I will immediately separate the two of you once I deem one party to be victorious, and neither party is to continue attacking. Otherwise, I will declare the violator disqualified. Do you understand? There were too many people who were either wounded or dead from the elimination rounds, and the organizing committee had shouted quite some pressure. It was natural that they would require the judges to be a lot stricter than before. The youth from the Sun Moon Empire's team nodded and said, My name is Xizing. Remember my name. Perhaps it will follow you for the rest of your life. He turned around towards the edge next to his camp as he spoke. Wang Donga frowned and asked the judge, Are youths nowadays also ridiculous? The corner of the judge's mouth twitched. Prepare for battle. This competition relies on fighting strength and abilities, not how powerful your mouth is. Wang Donga said plainly, Don't be biased. Otherwise, you will regret it. The judge was momentarily stunned. He had been the judge for quite a few rounds during the elimination round, and this was the first time that he was encountering somebody that dared to threaten a judge. This fellow was a little outrageous. Wang Donga was just about to turn around and return to her own side, but she suddenly saw someone waving to her from the other side. Wasn't that Ming Hing Chen? Wang Donga glanced at her helplessly, and she waved back at the same time before she retreated to her own side. Ming Hing Chen instantly became excited as she turned towards Xiao Hing Chen and said, Did you see that, brother? He waved to me. Did you see how exasperated and helpless he looked? It's clear that he does it's clear that he doesn't want to face us in battle. We have to get him into our academy after the competition. No matter what, I can be with him that way. Shut up. You're so hopelessly infatuated. I've had enough of you. Sit your ass down. You have utterly disgraced the Hing Chen family. Xiao Hing Chen was practically growling as softly as he could. Wang Dong's eyes met Huo Yuao's eyes when she turned back around and walked towards her own camp. Huo Yuao's eyes were ice cold at this moment, as if he was in an entirely different state altogether, and he made a gesture at her. Wang Dong nodded softly to show that she understood. She walked all the way to the competition stage's edge before she turned back around once more. However, she could see just as she was turning around that the judge's arm had already swung downwards to signal that the fight had begun. Do you have to be so obviously biased? Wang Dong frowned faintly. She wasn't hasty to charge forward, and her eyes sparkled as a pair of dazzling wings extended from behind her back. Enormous blue wings covered her entire back, and she was immediately blanketed with a beautiful bluish golden layer of
Cloud agreed to let her take the first round was substantially related to the fact that she could fly. Six and Academies that consisted mostly of Sol Engineers had a higher win rate in the elimination rounds before this because of the tournament's new rules. The immense advantage that Sol Engineers had because they could fly was just too evident. Wang Donga shot into the sky like an arrow, but a strange scene occurred immediately afterwards. The class 4 explosive shell suddenly changed direction and followed closely behind her. An explosive shell with tracking abilities. Then it's not a class 4 shell anymore. But why does its power look like a class 4 shell? Hu Yu Yuao's brain was calculating rapidly in the Tang Sect's waiting area. This round was especially important for the Tang Sect, and Wang Donga was the first one to fight. Hu Yu Yuao was afraid that he would lose his cool and his rationality because he was too concerned, and that he wouldn't keep his calm to continue commanding his team in the tournament. Therefore, when his eyes were closed before this, he was using one of the skills of necromancy that he had Necromancy that he had learned from the Calamity Necromancer, Electrolux, which was called the Necromancer's Silent Heart. This skill allowed him to enter a peculiarly calm state, and the skill also greatly boosted his senses. The only downside was that he would be incapable of any emotions at all over the next day, and he would only use the most rational and reasonable methods to think about things. Wang Gonga's second soul ring sparkled, and a golden light burst forth from the light spots on her wings behind her. The sphere of light immediately collided with the explosive shell hurtling through the air. Intense explosions could be heard, and sphere of scorching red light over ten meters in diameter instantly lit up the sky. The violent shockwaves that resulted from the collision caused the air in the sky to twist and contort. This was a class five explosive shell after all, and the shell possessed power close to a class six soul tools attack. She was sophisticated, indeed. She revealed five soul rings, two yellow and three purple rings, which contrasted with Wang Gonga's two yellow, two purple, and two Black soul rings. Wang Donga's ring combination was the most optimal combination, and she was also a soul emperor. There was quite a gap between their cultivations. However, since she's able to unleash a class five explosive shell with tracking abilities within such a short period of time, it was likely that he wasn't far from his sixth ring, even though he only had five rings at the moment. The vigorous shock waves touched Wang Donga in the end and forced her body upwards. On the other side, three more explosive shells whistled through the air and formed a triangular formation in the sky. This formation completely locked Wang Donga in and sealed everything off as she rose up through the air. Wang Donga wasn't hasty to soar upwards, but neither did she intend to meet these shells head on. She withdrew her wings and plummeted down through the air just like that. However, the explosive shells could lock onto her and track her down, and they immediately pursued her as she fell. Wang Donga didn't seem like she was about to reduce her speed, and she plunged downright towards the ground. The location that she was going towards was actually where the judge was. Was, and she began to shout as she continued diving through the air. Watch out, please move away. The judge received a rude shock. They were only in the round robin stage, so they couldn't send that powerful assault master out to be the judge. He was a seven ring soul sage, but he still couldn't take the force of three explosive shells detonating at the same time. What's this dude from the Tang sect trying to do? Is he trying to die together with me? The judge released his martial soul in his astonishment, and his body moved several dozen meters away in a flash. He was actually an agility type soul master. Wang Donga had no intention of letting him go. She expanded her wings again and switched directions gracefully in the air as she chased after the judge. Back on the rostrum, Chu Tian Ran said plainly, Relieve the judge of his duties after the competition. You have to be descending even if you're biased. He's going to disgrace our empire by showing such bias when everyone's watching. What an idiot. Yes, cold light flashed across Ju Zi's eyes. However, the image of her and Wang Donga healing Huo Yu at healing Huo Yu at a getter surfaced in her mind at this moment. He must know that she's a girl by now. They are they together now? Ju Zi could feel her heart starting to palpitate as this question appeared in her mind. Why are your hands so cold, Ju Zi? Shu Tian Ran asked confusedly. Ju Zi felt her heart skip a beat and said hurriedly, "The tournament is too exciting. Perhaps I'm just a little nervous." Shu Tian Ran smiled. "You can't be crushing on that youth from the Tang Sect, can you? He's the most handsome man I've ever seen. Though I couldn't match up to him even if I could walk." Ju Zi couldn't help but laugh. "Are you envious, Your Highness?" Shu Tian Ran chortled and said, "I'm also a man. How can I not be envious?" He was wearing a smile on his face, but the sparkle in his eyes was as cold as ever. He couldn't please his women, so deep in his heart, he was quite afraid that his women wouldn't be loyal to him. He couldn't take it even if it was just emotional disloyalty. However, Ju Zi's next sentence pacified the fury that was just rising in his heart. Ju Zi continued, I'm glad that you're envious for me, because that means you care about me. However, there's no need to be envious about a girl, is there? A girl? Shu Tian Ran was momentarily stunned. Ju Zi bent down beside his ear and whispered, Can't you tell that Wang Dong is a girl? How could a man be that good looking? Shu Tian Ran was still shocked. So, she's a girl. How did you find out? Juzi smiled and replied, Didn't you ask me to investigate the Tang sect? My people made the judgment from their intel and observations. She's not just a girl. I think she's together with Hu Yuao. They stay with each other every day, and she's the one that takes care of him. A girl, huh? She would be very pretty if she were wearing women's clothes. Shu Tian Ran murmured to himself. However, his eyes suddenly became cruel and fierce as he spoke. If, if I hadn't lost the ability to be a man, how many beautiful girls like that would I have for myself? You're hurting me, your highness. Juzi exclaimed agonizingly. Shu Tian Ran froze, and his eyes quickly returned to normal. I'm sorry. Ju Zi grabbed his hand and said, It's alright, your highness, please don't think too much about that. The Empire's technology is so advanced, it's just a matter of time before we discover something that can heal your wounds. Yes, Shu Tian Ran nodded. Let's watch the competition. The scene on stage had changed drastically as they were talking. Wang Donga was right about to crash into the ground as she plunged through the air, and the judge was running away as quickly as he could. He wasn't a seven ring soul sage for nothing, and it wasn't that easy for Wang Donga to catch up to him even though she was flying through the air. The ground was right before her eyes. Wang Donga suddenly turned around, and her slender legs sat flatly on the floor's surface. She bounced off the ground at the moment the three explosive shells behind her were about to touch her, and she flew back into the sky at lightning speed. Boom, 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 boom. Three violent explosions rang out at almost the same time. Even though the competition stage was reinforced by soul tools, it couldn't take an explosion as forceful as this one. Metal pieces flew in all directions, and intense shockwaves reached every corner of the competition stage. But those shockwaves only seemed to push Wang Donga's away and helped her rise even faster through the air. Wang Donga was covered by a golden light, and the shockwaves didn't hurt her at all. However, a frightening pressure descended from the sky right at that moment. Shi Zing naturally wasn't idle when Wang Donga was falling through the sky with three explosive shells on her tail. The attack that he had just launched was meant to preoccupy her. Xiao Hing Chen had already shared his findings regarding the Tang sect with his companions before this, and Wang Donga was one of the people that they had to pay extra attention to. They were already aware that Wang Donga had six rings now. Even Shi Zing himself didn't expect his second round of explosive shells would force Wang Donga to tuck tail and run. Distance was extremely important in a fight between Sol and and soul masters, and soul engineers would reign supreme if there was enough distance between the two parties. Shi Zing was decisive, and immediately withdrew the other soul tools that he was about to use to continue his suppression of Wang Donga. A fiery red heavy cannon appeared on his shoulder. This heavy cannon was about two meters long, and its barrel about thirty centimeters in diameter. It began to release a dense and searing aura from the moment it appeared. It was made from scarlet and steel, and its formation arrays were sculpted from scarlet flame crystals. The most important thing about using crystals to create formation arrays was that one couldn't afford to make a single mistake or miscalculation, and one had to finish
tracking mechanisms to his Class 6 Scarlet Flame Cannon. However, he did pull a cheap trick to get around this. He used a Class 4 positioning pipe soul tool and merged it with his Soul Cannon, giving his Cannon Shell a certain ability to track its target. Furthermore, the Scarlet Flame Cannon itself had certain abilities to lock onto its target. It was clear that he intended to smash everything onto Wang Dongo without further ado, so that he could end the fight right here and now. Wang Dongo could sense the immense pressure coming towards her, and suddenly halted in her upwards flight. She spread out her wings and looked up calmly at the frightening Scarlet Flame Cannon that was still charging up above her. She glowed even more intensely to the point where her radiant butterfly goddess wings, which were mainly blue, were blanketed with brilliant golden hues. Go to hell. She zing roared and fired off the heavy cannon in his hands, and a frightening scarlet red beam of fire erupted from the scarlet flame cannon. The flames froze in midair for an instant before they instantly transformed into an enormous fireball that contorted and undulated with wave-like patterns before arriving before Wang Donga in an eye blink. Every single person in the audience held their breath. The gigantic fireball had swelled to the point where it was almost half again as large as Wang Donga's body. Could she take the hit? Was she about to be consumed by the fireball? Everyone had a very intuitive judgment about beauty. Even though Shi Zing was representing the Sun Moon Empire, Wang Donga's handsomeness and her good looks gave her quite a number of supporters. Many people subconsciously closed their eyes as they couldn't bear to see such a handsome youth perish just like that. Only those who kept their eyes open witnessed something that was nothing short of a miracle. Wang Donga had no intention of evading the enormous ball of flame. Instead, she opened her arms, and her entire body seemed to transform into transparent golden water crystal in that moment. Her fifth soul ringed up at the same time. The tremendous scarlet flame cannon shell had already arrived. However, Wang Donga's body was instantly covered by a golden ripple, and she burst with light that seemed like a reflection from the water crystals that enveloped the cannon shell in front of her. The cannon shell's forward momentum was slowed, and Wang Donga actually opened her arms just like that and wrapped them around the huge cannon shell. Yes, she hugged it. Furthermore, the incredibly unstable and reactive cannon shell didn't explode at all. This is... Even Shu Tian ran gasped involuntarily from the rostrum. Wang Donga's eyes had become completely golden by now. There was a tinge of mockery in her eyes as she stared at the young man opposite her. I'm giving it back to you. Wang Donga raised her hands up into the sky and passed the cannon shell onto her right hand. The cannon shell shone with even more intense light as she raised it high into the air, and the scarlet red flames were converted into brilliant golden fire. In the next moment, the cannon shell left a blazing and dazzling trail as it hurtled back towards Shi Xing. Wang Donga muttered. Wang Donga muttered under her breath as she tossed the enormous cannon shell through the air. How can you be willing to show me your trump card if I don't give you enough time? The golden colors on her body receded as she threw the huge cannon shell away. Her wings opened behind her, and she chased after the cannon shell towards Shi Xing. Shi Xing was completely rooted to the spot. A million possible outcomes had surfaced in his mind when he fired off his heavy cannon, and the worst possible outcome was that Wang Donga had an invincible barrier to defend herself against this strike. But even so, he would still have time to continue attacking, and using an invincible barrier also consumed soul power. Furthermore, this was equivalent to him erasing one of his opponent's trump cards. But never in his wildest dreams did he expect the attack that he had charged for so long to come back towards him. The golden cannon shell was whistling through the air towards him, and it wasn't any slower than before. Shi Xing immediately recovered as he slapped himself on the chest while he gritted his teeth. A golden barrier instantly rose from his body and shielded his entire body within. The person that unleashed an invincible barrier wasn't Wang Donga, it was him. Boom. A frightening explosion echoed through the sky, a golden flower blooming with riveting and bedazzling beauty. Shi Xing was at the center of this explosion, and he could feel that his soul power was being consumed at an excessively alarming rate. An invincible barrier could only be used once, and it began to make crackling noises, as if it couldn't withstand the terrifying explosion. It took him immense effort before the explosion's aftershocks finally disappeared. However, his soul power had diminished to less than 50% because of this, along with the soul tools he had used before this. What made Shi Xing even more terrified was the fact that Wang Donga had completely vanished from his field of view. Above you, fool. Xiao Hing raged from the sidelines. It was a pity that Shi Xing couldn't hear him at all from within the competition stage's protective barrier. An enormous golden hexagram hovered above Shi Xing's head. Just as his eyes were darting around fearfully, a large golden beam descended from the sky and swallowed his entire body. Shi Xing's class 5 protective soul barrier that he used to protect his body was immediately triggered, but nobody could see him anymore. Wang Donga dove from high above the sky as she extended her wings, and a golden sphere quickly condensed and took form in front of her. Clang! Shi Xing's protective soul barrier was ripped to pieces, and another invincible barrier rose from his body. However, Shi Xing had less than 30% of his soul power left, and he could do little more than watch as another brilliant golden sphere slammed against his second invincible barrier. Sharp and shrill sounds could be heard as uncountable golden sparks erupted into the air. Shi Xing's soul power rapidly dwindled, and his eyes were full of despair by now. Wang Donga was still very close by, and her wings were fully extended as she descended from the sky like the goddess of light. He knew that he had been defeated. I admit defeat. Shi Xing shouted as loud as he could. He had learned of the Tang sex identity from Shi identity from Xiao Hing Chen long before this, and knew both parties were mortal enemies. He didn't want to lose his life here because of any unwarranted stubbornness. Furthermore, there was still a group battle after this, and this wasn't the time for him to give everything he could. He was the first to fight, so all he had to do was use milk bottles to recover his soul power, and he would be back in peak condition when it was time for the group battle. Shi Xing felt as if he had lost this battle way too unconvincingly, and because he didn't know anything about Wang Donga's insidious fifth soul skill, he still didn't know exactly what Wang Donga's soul skill had done even now. Wang Donga's eyes flowed with mockery when she heard him admit defeat. The judge beneath her already hollering at her to stop. Wang Donga extended her arms to signal that she wasn't attacking anymore. She withdrew her wings and slowly descended to the ground. The golden sphere that she had released continued rubbing against Shi Xing's invincible barrier, but the radiance was getting weaker and weaker. The butterfly goddess slash originally had an area of effect, but she had focused it into a single point giving it an incredible destructive force. Shi Xing heaved a sigh of relief as if a huge burden were lifted off his chest. The invincible barrier that he was using was the strongest possible type, and he looked on as her attack gradually grew weaker to the point where it could no longer hurt him. His invincible barrier was enough to hold on. Wang Donga drifted to the ground and turned towards the judge. She said mockingly, Don't worry, I'm not attacking him anymore. However, if I had been the one that was at a disadvantage, would you have been so worried? The judge shot a cold look at her and said, Why don't you try and find out? Wang Donga raised her index finger and wiggled it at him. You won't get that chance. Can you declare that I have won this fight? Yes. The Tang Sect is victorious in the first single elimination match. The judge hadn't even finished his sentence when an agonizing howl echoed from the sky, and a body plummeted down in the next moment. The judge was still a soul sage after all, so his reactions were extremely quick. He immediately caught the body falling through the air in a flash of motion. Shi Xing's face was ghastly pale, and he was exhaling much more than he was inhaling, while his life energy was slipping away at a dangerous rate. You. You killed him. The judge turned back towards Wang Donga, infuriated. Wang Donga's expression seemed as innocent as ever, which I have yours saw that I killed him. I came down in the same moment that he admitted defeat, and I've been by your side this entire time. The first match was over, and the protective barriers around the competition stage naturally receded and disappeared. Xiao Hing Chen and Meng Hing Chen left onto stage at almost the same time as they raced over. They were also astounded when Shi Xing dropped from the sky for some unknown reason. They could clearly see that Wang Donga's butterfly goddess slash had disappeared before that. Did
Or are you going to keep letting your teammates die? Xiao Hing Chen took a deep breath, and his outraged expression gradually calmed down. Instead, he said nothing more as he stepped off the stage with Xi Zing's corpse in his arms. Wang Donga took out a milk bottle as if she were demonstrating a magic trick, and she stood there quietly to replenish her soul power. Wang Donga had won this battle. She had eliminated her opponent to the point where he didn't get to give everything that he had. It could be said that she had won this fight absolutely and perfectly. The radiant butterfly goddess fifth soul skill, the goddess of light's possession. Wang Donga could transform herself into a light elemental form for three seconds, and this allowed her to develop an affinity for every other element except the darkness element. This soul skill amplified the force of her other soul skills by 100%, and this also allowed her to strike back at darkness elements with three times the original force. Wang Donga relied on the goddess of light's possession's special characteristic of developing an affinity for other elements to control the enormous fire type scarlet flame cannon shell. She was then able to throw it back and thus clinch her victory. Xi Zing's death obviously had something to do with her. Her butterfly goddess slash was discreetly charged up with the ability that her broken devil of light right arm bone carried. The devil breaking golden light, which erupted only in the last second and directly pierced into Xi Zing's heart. How could he survive an attack like that? Wang Dong had murdered one of the Sun Moon Empire's main team members, which meant that she had undoubtedly greatly weakened the opposing team's overall strength. This was extremely beneficial for the group battle that was to come afterwards and towards Shrek Academy's fight against the Sun Moon Empire after today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.